A woman's place. Explaining a woman's place in society, not to be objectified, but to be venerated. God gives his qualities to woman, just as how he created life. He gives her an ability to create life too. She is a supporter, leader, independent, cooperative, resilient, and she is power. Oh, if we knew a woman's place, how great would she be in society? Welcome back to another Apostles of Omochinjikwa podcast. Thank you to everyone who's been watching all the previous episodes. And we hope that they have been of some value and of some help to you in your journey to getting closer to God. My name is Masbaba Charles. So for this week, we wish to discuss the topic of a woman's place within Masowe. We recognize this because if you look in different communities, different places, different countries, different nations, most likely a woman will be seen as inferior to males. And so we wish to just give the teachings of the apostles of Machinjigwa to recognize in the importance of women. And we are taught that if you do not recognize the value of your own members, then you do not allow them to reach their full potential. This means that you are limiting the works of God. If we do not allow women to see themselves as valuable, then they would start to restrict themselves in things that they do. So they will not have the confidence to speak up when they must. They will not have the confidence to act when they must. So this will mean that they would not be able to truly give themselves to doing God's work. And if we do not take care of this as a church, if we do not take care of this as people, then I doubt we'll be able to fully accomplish what God wants us to do. If you look in all the churches, you'll see that the majority of them are female. We read a study that said that 60% of church members are female. So this poses the question that if all the women were to leave the church not because of God but because of how we treat them and because of how as a church or as a religion we view them if all of them were to leave the church would it be able to stand in my own opinion I do not think that in any society would be able to last even a day without women present so this shows the importance this shows the relevance of women, and if we are able to let them recognize their true potential, then I believe we'll be able to do so much more for the work of God. I'll give an example of women's strength in doing God's work. If you look, after Jesus had been crucified, after the Son of God, after Yeshua had been crucified, the apostles were afraid to go to his tomb, Because they were scared of what people might do to them. That they would be crucified just as what had been done to their Lord. But it was the women that were strong and they were brave and they were loyal. It was their commitment that shone through. And they said, we are afraid, but yet we shall go. Because we must go to where our Lord is. Because in those days when someone had passed, then it was the duty That women had that they had to perform some rituals to their body. As what was done due to custom. And so they went to his true tomb. And when they got there that's when they saw that he was alive. And it was women that first saw the glory of God. When it was risen up again. So with this I wish to be able to just give people an awareness of the importance of women. And even if you look within Masowe. One of the biggest aspects of our church services is the singing. And it is the singing that when you ask most people, what is it that made you want to become an impostor? What is it that made you want to follow this religion or this movement? And most people will tell you it was because of the singing. It was the singing that was able to touch people's hearts. It was the singing that was able to convert people, to convert them from their actions that they were doing that was not in line with God's word. And it was it was those and it was the women singing that were able to bring back so many people back closer to God. So if we're able to give this woman their value, 
if we're able to show them, to teach them, to view themselves as a vessel of God, then I truly believe we'll be able to do much more of God's work. Because truly God loves and he has selected them to be with us in his journey to get closer to him. Because even if you look in Masoe, we believe that we are led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will come down and the Holy Spirit will prophesy. It will give us teachings and divine words. If you look at the majority of the prophets that are within Masoe, majority of them, for us, are women. Majority of the congregates who do go to Masoe are women. So it shows that God has selected them to do his works. To show people and to tell people what needs to be done because he also speaks through them. So this shows the importance that God even puts on women. And if we are able to just recognize more and if we are able to just understand more the importance of women. Because if you look at the very foundation of a woman, she is a creator. She is able to create life, which is one of the biggest characteristics of God. Because God, as we know, we call him our father, Musikavanu, the creator. That is the name of God, the creator, Musikavanu. So when you look at a woman, Oh, she is a wonderful image of God because she is a creator. Just as God gave forth life and the universe and he created mountains and he created oceans, also a woman has been given an aspect where she is able to bring forth life. If we are able to recognize the importance of a woman, we will truly be able to grow. If we're able to teach our kids that when you look at a woman, recognize her excellence, recognize her beauty, recognize her strength, recognize the God in her. If we are able to do this, then we'll be able to tackle some of the issues that happen in this world that are truly evil. You get issues of women being assaulted. We get issues of domestic violence. So we believe that if we're able to teach women and girls from early age their value, they would be able to speak up and to be able to defend themselves more and to treat themselves much, much better. If we're able to teach our sons and our husbands and our fathers and our brothers the importance of women, then they'll be able to look at them with a much higher regard. And with that, I say thank you very much for you listening to our podcast for this week. We hope that it is of value to you and will help you in order to get in closer to God's work. And with that, I say thank you and glory be to God. Mm-hmm.